stricter and lessening punitive measures against the laborers while it suggested that working hour of a labor in general should not be more than 10 hours a day, excluding dining and rest time. At the same time, he said the law prohibited engagement of children and physically challenged persons in any risky job. International Food Policy Research Institute, ISPRI, representative in Bangladesh, Akhtar Ahmed, called on Speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmin Chaudhary at her Jatya Shangshad office today. During the call on ISPRI, representative invited the Speaker to join international conference titled Accelerating the End of Hunger and Malnutrition to be held in Thailand in November next as one of the key speakers. Dr. Shilin Sharmin Chaudhary accepted the invitation and lauded the initiative to arrange such a conference. Commerce Minister Tufail Ahmed has underscored the need for government becoming more supportive to business people so that they can better contribute to nation's economy. The minister was addressing a ceremony to recognize the commercially important person, CIP, in Export and Trade 2015 in a city hotel today. FBCCI President Shafiul Islam Mohyuddin and Commerce Secretary Shubhashish Borshu, among others, addressed on the occasion. Commerce Minister said the, community, the continuity of Awami League in the government is necessary for continued and sustainable development. He said, when the government has changed previously, the flow of development dropped. But in these two terms, Awami League has brought positive and significant changes in the economy and other sectors. Later, the Commerce Minister handed over CIP card to 136 businessmen. None to be implicated unduly, as law will decide the fate of 21st August grenade attack case. Health and Family Welfare Minister Mohammad Nassim said this while addressing a joining function of 36th BCS Health Care Offices in Dhaka today. Secretary of Health Services Mohammad Shirajul Hop Khan presided over the function, while among others, President of Shadhinata Chikit Shak Porishad, Professor Dr. Iqbal Arsalan, and President of Bangladesh Medical Associations Dr. Mustafa Jalal Mahyuddin spoke. Health Minister said people's mandate will be honoured in the next upcoming national election. State Minister for Information Tarana Halim has stressed trained journalists in discharging their duties, keeping falsehood or rumours adhering to journalistic ethics. She said this at the inauguration of three months long basic training course for class one officers at the National Institute of Mass Communication today. Director General of Institute Mohammad Rafiq Zaman chaired the occasion. The State Minister for Information said training the officers is very important in branding or campaigning for different development activities. Earlier, Tarana Halim held a view exchange meeting with officials of National Institute of Mass Communication. Director General of the Institute, Institute Mohammad Rafiq Zaman was present. The State Minister for Information issued directives to officials on bringing further dynamism to activities of the Institute. Now international news. Some 400 prisoners have escaped from a facility near the Libyan capital Tripoli amid deadly violence between militia groups in the city, police say. The detainees were able to force open the doors in order to leave the Ain Zara prison, the local police said. They added that guards fearing for their lives were unable to prevent the breakout following riots at the jail. Clashes between militias in the city have led Libya's UN-backed government to declare a state of emergency. The incident on Sunday took place during armed violence between rival factions around the facility which houses only male inmates. A court in Myanmar has sent sentenced two Reuters journalists 
to seven years in prison for violating a state secrets act while investigating violence against the Rohingya minority. Wallon and Kyo So U, nationals of Myanmar, were arrested while carrying official documents which had just been given to them by police officers. They have maintained their innocence, saying they were set up by the police. The case has been widely seen as a test of press freedom in Myanmar. The two men, who both have families with young children, have been in prison since their arrest in December 2017. Back to national news, a supersonic fighter jet overhauled by Bangladesh Air Force technicians independently for the first time was handed over to Kansan Flying Squadron. Prime Minister's Security Advisor, Major General Retired Tariq Ahmed Siddiqui was present as a chief guest at the handover ceremony at BAF Base Bongobundhu in Dhaka today. Among others, Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Mashu Zaman Shaniabak and Chinese ambassador in Dhaka were present on the occasion. A view exchange meeting on carrying effective information to people and government development activities was held at Prime Minister's office today with Principal Secretary to the Prime Minister Mohammad Nazibur Rahman in the chair. Prime Minister's office chief coordinator on SDG Abul Kalam Azad, Information Secretary Mohammad Abdul Malik, Press Secretary to the Prime Minister Mohammad Ihsanul Karim, Public Relations Officers of different ministries among others were present in the meeting. The Principal Secretary to the Prime Minister issued directives to the Public Relations Officers on reaching information of government development activities to the people more effectively. Now news and sports. The 12th version of the South Suzuki Cup Football Championship 2018 will kick off tomorrow at the Bongobundu National Stadium in Dhaka. Pakistan will play Nepal in the opening match tomorrow at 4 o'clock in the afternoon while Bangladesh will play Bhutan in the opening day's second match at 7 p.m. in a hope to take revenge of their frustrating 1-3 goals defeat against them in 2016. Host Bangladesh was placed in Group A of the biggest soccer festival of the region with Bhutan, and Nepal and Pakistan, while holders India, the Maldives and Sri Lanka were placed in Group B of the Seven Nations meet. Bangladesh took part in this tournament a total of 10 times in the previous 11th edition and became champion only one time in 2003 in Dhaka. But this time, Bangladeshi footballers are very much hungry to clinch the title for the second time as they are the hosts. All the six foreign teams are already in the capital to compete in the South Asian Mini World Cup and made their practices on Monday. To end the bulletin headlines once again. Bongabundu Satellite 1 starts maiden television transmissions through technical support from BTV. It approves draft of Bangladesh Labour Amendment Act 2018 with new facilities for workers. None to be implicated unduly as court will decide fate of 21 August grenade attack case, says Health Minister. Emergency declared following Libyan rebel factions fight in Tripoli. Jailbreak allows 400 prisoners to flee. And Star Football Championship kicks off in Dhaka tomorrow. Nepal and Pakistan meet in inaugural match. Bangladesh to face Bhutan in other match of the day. And that's all from our newsroom for the moment. Thank you for staying with us. And we invite you to watch our 11.30 Bangladesh. Until then, Khudaf. Khudaf.